Hey you guys and welcome back to my channel. So today we have a special guest. I'm not really a special guest, am I? I'm, I'm a forever guest. <laughs> yeah, he's a forever guest. I'm but it's been a while guest. since they've seen like um, a I sit down, down video yeah, with yeah. us. Oh, we can't be spinning now. That's how you know this relationship is getting, it's getting serious. What? We literally just said a sit down video at the same time. Just say you want to be like me. No, no, no. That's not first. <laughs> <laughs> so today we're going to film a how well do you know me video. Which I feel like is a bit of a disrespect for you to sit me down here to come and answer some questions that you already know that I know. You know what, you guys? I'm not going to argue because I feel like he's actually, I feel like Moses knows me too well. Too well I, I need to go back being the mysterious woman I you was. You never that baby. woman. Where yes, I you? was. For uh, the longest. I Until you cracked me. I, I can and you read made you. me soft. Let me say something here. The only confusion that I had ever was how well you liked me. And that was because of the fact that you just didn't know how to use the word. Everything else about you I could read. This guy was mysterious to young woman. You were not me. What is the mystery where? He didn't know anything. Can I just quickly say, guys, she used to always say to me, I'm like, I'm just, I don't know how you think. I'm not like the typical kind of girl. She sat here in Lagos, Nigeria. Yeah, I had a All the way from Georgia. <laughs> this is a country west side. So, no, so, southern, sorry, so not west side. Southern, suburban, suburban innocent human being in Lagos. <laughs> Osakma. <laughs> it's crazy. Look, love can do anything. That's why people say love costs more than money. Love can do anything. Who, when the hell did I think I was going to bring a girl all the way from Georgia to Lagos? Osakma in my house. Crazy. Day. The, the day in Paul was possible, but to bring all the way here, oh man. It had to happen though, you guys. It was yeah. bound to happen eventually. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> Just <laughs> proof that we're in Lagos. Flies. <laughs> <laughs> I actually haven't had an issue with flies until right now. Right now. Yeah. So you guys, I have a list of questions, and we're gonna see how well Moses knows me. But I'm not even gonna lie. I feel like he's gonna do good, but. Now you're putting that's now you're putting pressure on me because if I don't do good, if it doesn't do good, then mm, do you? I'm mysterious, like I said. <laughs> the first question is, what's the first thing I do when I wake up in the morning? The easy answer is go on your phone. But if I'm next to you, if I is this when I'm next to you? Okay. On a casual day. Yeah. Yeah, you go on your phone. Okay. What was your other answer gonna be? If you're next to me. Yeah. Come and start touching me and do up in my face and just being good morning. Rise and shine. Rise and shine. And then some, <laughs> on some, yeah. Yeah, that's correct. Because the thing is, you guys might not know this, but Sabs' job requires her to be attentive on her phone 24s because she can wake up and her boss could have texted her saying, We need you to go brush one of the client's teeth. And guess what? You have to do it. Okay, that's such a drag. <laughs> <laughs> What's more important to her is her phone. Rather than checking if I'm still breathing. Cause I know he's breathing. When Moses wakes up, he reaches out for me. So I know he's awake. Cause I wake up before him. Whoa, whoa. Unless he has an alarm set on something he needs to do. But then he goes back to sleep and then I'm awake before him. And he'll reach out just to sense that I'm there. And just to make sure you're still there. And then that's when I... Cause you know, women tend to sneak out of the house sometimes and go do some dodgy things. So just to make sure you're still there. The next question is, What's the name of the style of nails I always get? French tips. Oh. Look, if, <laughs> if, I, if I get any wrong, I owe you $100. How about that? Okay, babe. Deal? Let's see how much money you can make today. But let me tell you why I guessed that one correctly. Why? Because that's my favorite as well. Just basic, simple. Yeah, I always get French tips. I've been doing it for years now. But yeah, you're going to eventually have to try something different. I've done different. I what just prefer this. Because okay. it just matches everything. Simple, it's classy, it's just classy. That makes sense. Yeah. Okay, the next one is name three of my closest friends. But right. there's four out of them like you could pick from. <clears throat> okay. Caitlin. No. Caitlin. There you go. Caitlin. That was one that time again, wasn't it? That's correct. Caitlin. Debbie. Yeah. Brian. Huh? Brian. Yeah. Come on. This is the way you said it. And me. Okay, name the fifth. Well, what would you need from me? You said four. You first said <laughs> three, then you said four, now you're saying five. Obviously, you're one, but name the fifth. Nova. No. Nova's my child. She's not my friend. The fifth person. Ah. Oh. 
I feel like I know this person. Is it, can it be a guy? There's not a guy. Ah, oh, good. That's a good actually. There's not a guy because video will be ended. I'm, do I know them? I've heard of them. You don't Miss, know them. Miss Danielle. No. She's not your friend. Miss Danielle's not your friend. Miss Danielle, good. if you're watching you this. Are. You are my friend. This is just not. That's not. This is a childhood friend. Oh, so you should have said that before. She's like, you don't know that. I don't know that <laughs> Brenda. That's the one who I went to the party for when you came Oh, out. Brandini. I've never met Brenda. Brenda, look, I don't know anything about you like that. So if you're watching this, we need to get to know each other. We don't need to, but whatever. Next. Anyways, <laughs> what's one of my pet peeves? That's my um, biggest pet peeve. I can do one. One, okay. Um, I guess when people make promises that they can't keep up to. That was literally what it was gonna be. Yeah. That was my number one. When thing. people make promises that they can't keep up to. Because the thing about Sabs is the moment you tell her something, it's boom, in her mind. Locked not in. taking it off. Like, I'm not gonna use an example. You know what example I'm thinking about? <laughs> yeah, don't, don't mention it. They can tell what that means. Yeah, slick gang. <laughs> it's gonna happen. She will let it go. It's so happen. I've learned. You promised. It's happening. You already promised. I was just joking that no, time. I've was, learned to just. She's more serious than I was. Well, it's. Next question. What do you guys see? Big Sabs. No, I'm playing. You guys see Sabina Rain right here. Just That's know how that, you guys just know know that my boyfriend mind. upheld the promise that he said he was gonna do. That I, he suggested. I was just That's joking. what make it worse when someone else suggests it and they don't fall through. I was just joking. I didn't do you want to be one of those people? Yes, I don't. I, w I didn't know you was going to take it serious. I was just joking. I wanted to see her reaction. No, no. Well, at least I got the answer correct. Yes. I've not got anything wrong, by the way, guys. Apart from Brenda. Where is the only place I feel like jeans fit me from? <laughs> Fashion Nova. Because. Their size for some strange reason. I'm not wrong, right? No, I'm just mad that you're getting them all right. <laughs> Come on, I know you too well. Because the size, for some strange reason, they're always a bit stretchy. So they're always like, they can never be too small or too big because they're always stretchy. Yeah, basically. So if I ever want to buy you clothes, I know where to go to. But you At least pants. Yeah, but you just never have a set size. That's just the weird thing about you. Yeah, but jeans from Fresh Nova, like, they're stretchy and then, like, they'll go over the thigh but still fit around your waist. Waist, yeah, yeah. Yeah, it's hard to find these things. For everyone that I get correct, you owe me on your dollars. No. Okay, fine. I tried. <laughs> <laughs> What's a normal household thing that I grew up not doing? Watching TV. Go in the house. You didn't have a TV in the house. Which we had a TV. We just didn't watch it. We weren't allowed to watch it. Which till today I still find odd. But you know what? I think it's actually kind of smart because it made you who you are today. So what did I do instead? Used to read a lot of books. Yeah, there's like a whole library in my house. It's funny because if I if I tried this kind of video with any of my exes, I would I would have got none of them correctly. But you know what? I know every single thing because we speak so damn much. We have no <laughs> so option. We're together. Yeah, like we speak a lot, like and the the basic fundamentals we always cover. Anyways, yeah. But she doesn't read books Better. anymore. I used to. Fell off. She fell off. I'm joking. What's my shoe size? Size six. In what? And what do you mean in what? Are you talking about US, UK? US. No. Oh, you know, you're size five, US. UK, size six. No. You're size seven. Oh, no, you're Just size seven. You know, he, you're he, size seven, US. Size seven, US. Size seven, US. Wrong. I didn't bought your pair of shoes. Hey, Siri. He has bought me shoes, but I was there. He never bought them on his own. All the pair of shoes for Sam's. It's coming tomorrow morning. Don't Sorry. worry. I'm Shut up! <laughs> Shut up! <laughs> I'm a seven and a half woman slash eight in the US sizes. That sounds so big. But your it's feet not. are so tiny. Look at all my boots. Ah. So tiny. But somehow you're size eight and a half. Like, no, I said seven and a half to eight. I don't know how US size. Oh, to be fair, that's a hard question because US size conversion is so different to the US. But we've had this conversation like three times because you asked me this. What's your shoe size? What's your shoe size? What's your shoe size? Even though you never ordered me shoes. He asked what's your shoe size. Fairs. Fairs. Okay, I got one wrong. I can put okay. my hand down. I'm the worst boyfriend in the world. What are my go to foods? Pasta and. Um, <laughs> like, you mean like randomly starving? You get a sandwich or anything that goes with pasta. Yeah. That's yeah. easy. 
It was because how many times have I tried to break it out that's how I cook? I eat other foods. It's just the easiest for me to make at home. Yeah, because they have no spice. <laughs> the other day, Sasha went to fight the waiter at Danford Bistro because she put the most spice in the food. Anyways. Like, who asked for that? Literally, everyone at the table asked for and I said, make sure mine is not like that. And they just gave me a pasta that was for the same, or ended me from the same batch. You should have called corporates. If I could call corporate in my Nigeria, I would. I just don't <laughs> think they would do anything. <laughs> How do I normally sleep? On my back, my side, or my stomach? Hmm. It's funny because I should know this because <laughs> I sleep next to you. I think you always you sleep on your on your, on your stomach. No. My side. No, you sleep on your stomach. See, the thing about sleep is that you don't know. Because I'm awake middle of the night. So I see uh, the middle of the bed. That's still not true. Uh, still not true. And then sometimes you might turn to your side. You even told, took a picture of me today sleeping on my side. But that's when you try to sleep. But when you're on full REM sleep, you're on your stomach. No, I was sleeping. Just say you're wrong. Wrong. $100. Oh, I want to have at like 200. Let's just say 200 pounds. Let me just convert dollars, it. Dollars, more. dollars, <laughs> dollars. Okay, what bone have I broken? The pelvis. Oh. She, she, she talks about it all the time. As if she's disabled for life. I, that's how I feel that time. No, but you talk about it now as if it's still broken. But that's just like such a random break to have. Like, who the heck breaks their pelvis? Okay, what was the sub subject I studied before psychology? Um, medical. No. Nope. That's the. Oh, medicine. No. What's my degree name? <laughs> Biomed. No. Something medical, no? No, I was pre-med, but pre that wasn't my. Oh, major. the pre-med was in my head. Oh. Just say you don't know it. No, hold on. Just say 300. No, hold on. What did you just study before psychology? What was, my, what was the name of my degree basically before I switched to psychology? Huh. So Science. It was biology. But I, I said so no. so science. No. Science could be dollars. chemistry, it could be physics. I was about to say science. It could be molecular. Biology. No. Why would you even do biology? Oh gee, you're breaking your pelvis and you're breaking everything <laughs> and you're doing biology. Yeah. You don't know anything about your body. I used to. I forgot everything I learned. <laughs> Boo you. What surgery do I eventually want? But you shouldn't want any. You're perfect as you are. You literally know this answer. You're absolutely perfect as you are. I think you should never get anything done. I don't want anything to change about you. That's not what I said. What surgery do I, I eventually want? Something to do with breast. My eyes. Why would I say breast? <laughs> <laughs> what if I, I, oh, I always said I want oh, laser I eye surgery. Oh, laser, it's not really surgery though. I don't know why I thought BBL. Yeah, obviously you want to get your eye done. I didn't know. That, I didn't know that counts as surgery. It's literally laser. I want eye surgery. Like I want either LASIK or smile. I didn't know. I didn't. I didn't. I didn't know that's. I thought you meant it for your body. What have I ever said I wanted surgery on my body? I don't know. That's what I was thinking. What's this girl talking about? Because I was thinking, what could the answer possibly be? I really have mentioned the eye surgery. I said like when I'm 25, maybe I'll get it. If I could get another dog, what breed would it be? The fact that what's annoying is that I gave you this question and I don't know the answer. There is like two to three possible answers. You'd get a rock. Yes. Done. Next but question. No, what's the other two? At least one of them I've told you. The uh, dopamine. The, nah, you hate this dog. Uh, uh. I didn't say I hate them. Hmm. 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 I don't really know dog names, but I feel like I, I, I can see the dog. What? Give me the first letter. C. Chihuahua. <laughs> <laughs> Never. I actually hate Chihuahuas. I had a, I'm traumatized by them. Uh, yeah, you told me. What's the name of the dog? Ken Corso. I, I, I didn't. I've never had a dog in my life. We literally even saw it in London and pointed it out to you. I've never had a dog. The in my one life. that the only big dog we saw when we were there. Nope, never. The last one would be like either a cat or two. Kabuku, Lucky, or a on, golden babe. doodle, like a doodle. Fine, you can you can adopt Lucky. Fine, fine. Since you're begging, Lucky, Lucky is a Kabuku. Okay, I don't want a Kabuku. I like a doodle. I meant to say doodle. I want a big dog. I think I've just gotten to the point where once you have big dogs, you just love big dogs. Sure. Like, yeah, I get it. Yeah, he loves Nova now. She's cool. He understands she's, she's like, the yeah. joy of a big dog now. Don't let him lie to you. I'll still have a small dog. Easier to maintain. 
I told her not to sit down, don't scare me everything. Nova can tell you to shush. You tell Nova shush, she'll say shush! <laughs> her bark will be shush back! Sometimes she talks back. Yeah, I've never, I don't want to sit down. You sit down, woof! I'm okay, like, no. the fuck? <laughs> no, I don't want Sometimes that. Sometimes she'll huff and be like, hmm. Yeah, no, I don't want that. <laughs> I can afford lucky, um, fuck. <laughs> I just need this mic protection, my friend. <laughs> Yes, like cut off, we're back. Did it? No, no, that's not what happened. The camera died. We're in Africa. It's, it's not, it's my control. house, then go for my house. My next question is what's my favorite thing to drink? And you have to be specific about the brand. Well, alcohol. Yeah. Um, her favorite alcohol is Don Julio. Um, Anejo. No. Um, Reposado. No. Oh, sorry, I'm bugging. No, no, her favorite of all time is 1942 Don Julio. And as soon as she takes that shot, she has to drink a ginger ale with it to make it go down smoothly. Thank you. I rest my yes. case. Wow. She's not had Azul yet. I'm, a, I'm ashamed that you, know, you have Azul, so no worries. On your birthday. I've had it before. Ah, I'm not going to pop Azul on your birthday. Am I crazy like that? Should I? Hey, God. We'll see, Sha. I make money. <laughs> <laughs> I make money. Azul are hot bots. If I was stranded on an island, what three things would I want with me? Oh, your phone wouldn't make sense because your, your battery might die. Um, you know when you look at someone and you try to get a clue from them but they give you nothing? Does that have to be items? Can it be like a dog? Yeah. Okay, you bring Nova um, so you can both entertain each other. You'd bring me and you'd bring... Okay, okay realistically. Nova, me, and your phone. Yeah, we would just starve. I can hunt. That's why you're bringing me. A Nova will protect the other animals. Nova is not a real guard dog. <laughs> yeah, but she can pretend to be. Let me tell you what I bring. <clears throat> I shall bring you. I bring my PlayStation and a TV. And with, with, with what electricity? <laughs> <laughs> like, with what electricity? I need to get that Peter Griffin skin, okay? It's very important. I've not reached that level yet. <clears throat> Was that correct, then? I feel like that nah, you just like fuck it. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know if this question will make sense. But what's something like I will morally stand on a hill and like go hard at? Like it's customer service. No. But it's related. What's one thing I'm always like, that's wrong not to do? Oh, tipping. This girl wanted to kill me and Jed for <laughs> tipping. I'm not gonna be gonna get into that one. It's so strong on tipping. And where I'm from, especially in the UK, even in Nigeria, tipping is not mandatory. Tipping is only if the waiter deserves to be tipped. Some things every waiter deserves to be tipped. Moving forward, if it's me and you, but I'm like, I don't want to tip, and you say, I don't want to tip. Go that's ahead. fine. I've really offered it in the past. Yeah, that's fine. I even offered to pay the whole bill at that point. You didn't mention that. <laughs> there was no need for that, was there? No. And that. everybody was offended. <laughs> yeah, because why are you trying to be the, 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 the man of because the Because they didn't want to tip. And I was like, I will. Literally, I'd rather pay the whole thing than not tip. Pay the whole thing and tip. It's two different things. You just wanted to do the most that day. Let's not get into it. Next question. <laughs> what would be two kids' names that I like, but like one boy name and one girl name? Girl name, Nova. No. I'm joking, obviously. No, that's That's already name. my child's name. You know, that's not your child, that's my your dog. My first born. Your dog, you didn't my give birth born. to the dog. My oh, first my born. It sounds weird when people say things First born. Like Ew. Boy, Michael. You say mm, like I'm supposed to know. I don't know any names. I'm just guessing what I think but you like, like. No. Tom. No. I don't know. Sounds so British. <coughs> I don't know any. Michael. Tom. Blake. I actually like Blake. Blake. Um. Drake. Steak. Okay. Anything ache at the end she likes. Okay. What about a girl name? Girl. Um. Linda. No. Gabrielle. It's like no. June. That's some names in Nigeria, by the way. I don't like any of them. Princess. No. What are the names you want to go for? Not any of those. Like, what what kind of names you thinking? I don't even know what it would be, but something more unique or creative. Like what? She doesn't even know the names herself. That just feels good. 
Let me stop because she gets distracted. You want to say one word? I would have to sit down and think about it, but it has to be something more unique. Okay, I feel like, you. Like, why would I name my kid Linda? Hello, Linda. Look at you. You're so cute. <laughs> <laughs> that, is, that actually doesn't sound right. You're right. The last question. I don't even know if I know the answer. <laughs> For us. Am I a spender or a saver? Spender. Do you have savings? I used to. There we go. I was shocked the day that you spent 100 something that day at the airport. Just to think I can't spend 100 is crazy. Okay, well then that means you're good. If if anybody is watching this, let's just use Nigerians for example. 100k naira at the airport on drinks just before you enter the plane. <laughs> so I can sleep on the flight. How much would you think that person makes an hour? In fact, how much do you think that person makes monthly? Me and you are both thinking that person is probably making 20 to 30 grand a month. You spend like you're making 20 to 30 grand a month. I couldn't even do that. I would be like, huh? $120 just at the airport. I'm not even landed at the country that I'm going to. That's why you're a spender, not a saver. The only thing I can, the only thing I can commend you is that you're not materialistic. So you don't buy, you don't waste money on things to make yourself look flashy. Yeah. But you spend money on things that you don't have to spend money on. She's pulling shots experiences, sure. Okay, that's one time. I don't just spend money on alcohol like that. No, I'm, I'm just, like, I'm, that's the only example I'm using. Other things will be for like, if I'm traveling, like putting Nova up or this and that, like, mm -hmm. it's for my experiences. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm, mm -hmm. You're right, you're right. Not really experience, but it's more like, you know. Necessities. Sure, that's that's a better word to to. to so then I'm a, So I'm not spending on like, things for fun all the time that's not the question the question is am i a spender or am i a saver and you spend more than you save anyways that's the end of this how well do you know me i feel like you know me very well I, passed, yeah. I guess i'm not mysterious anymore to him i guess it's warm you were never mysterious yes, I was. oh this mysterious like she keeps claiming you was never mysterious yes i was so i'm gonna invite you it's very mysterious but I guess he passed. I did. He passed with flying colors. So I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Make sure to like, comment, and subscribe right. to my channel. And I'll see you guys later. Bye. Peace.